Captain and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features! And all creatures! God's name did that poor bloke do to deserve all this? Miss Tangella had placed a pair of her shoes in the furnace to be destroyed. The handyman found them and has hidden them so they would not be incinerated. My goodness, sometimes I believe that man lives life simply to torment that poor girl. As do I. However, he claims to be holding them because they contain evidence of one of her crimes. Ah, it would appear that poor Andrew is not yet familiar with the old adage Snitches get stitches. Oh, well, hello and welcome to Creature Features. I am your host, Vincent. With me is my daring and dynamic doer of domestic duties, my steam butler, Mr. Livingston. And stood behind us, wielding the tools of torment, would be my typically sweet and dainty housemate, Tangella. And the victim under her wrath, who simply could not keep his big yap in the off position, would be the household handyman, Andrew. And do we have a fantabulous show tonight prepared intentionally and specifically just for you. First up, our featured film, much like our beleaguered handyman, is entitled The Victim from 1972. It stars Elizabeth Montgomery, Eileen Heckert, and George Maharis. The story revolves around a wealthy woman who attempts to find a missing sister, only to find herself stranded in a home with neither phone nor electricity as a madman runs rampant in the residence. Which often happens here in the Bolton Mansion, does it not? Guest-wise, we have a fantastic guest whose name escapes me and has not yet been placed on my teleprompter. The guest cancelled after viewing a previous episode where your dainty housemaid Super glued John Provost's fingers to his face. Ah, oh, we really should keep previous episodes under wraps until after the guest has made their appearance. No matter. So don't go away, because it shall be another fanciful flight of a dark and stormy night, right here on Creature Features! Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. It's a Saturday night. Saturday night. Come on, sing a Saturday night song with me, Livingston. I don't know any. You know, I, I, he's, he used to be such a jolly bloke, and now he uh, doesn't do anything. Really? Uh, don't you agree with me? I'm cross with you. You decommissioned our handyman. Who in God's name is going to repair that, that loo on the third floor? She, she, she's good at breaking things, not fixing things. I will call a plumber. Uh, no, plumber. Tracy, call Tracy the plumber. I will call Tracy. That's right. Tracy's, Tracy's good. Though. Okay, so welcome to the show. It's, uh, it's going to be a fun one. We, we don't have a guest. We've got this monstrosity over here. And this, uh, do you suppose he's going to wake up soon? If not, we'll have to call an ambulance. Who, who did the 911 on his head? 
Oh, so she injures and she repairs. That's incredible. Well, no, I did the repair. All right. That's what I thought. It looked too neat of a job to be her handiwork. In any case, uh, we are without a guest tonight, but that's all right, right? We've got a good film. We've got a good film. A very good film called The Victim from 1972. Stars Elizabeth Montgomery. You know who that was, right? Bewitched. Bewitched. She played Samantha. Samantha yeah. Stevens on Bewitched. Hmm. In any case, this is one of the many uh, made-for-television movies she did after leaving Bewitched because she did not want to do Bewitched anymore. And I can't really blame you her. You mean she quit? No, the show ran its course. Oh. I mean, the first Darren died, and then that second clone came in. It was never the same after that. Clone? No, it was like the new Darren. They didn't even say anything. It was just like a new Darren. He had a bigger forehead. It was easy to spot. Hmm. Yeah, that's strange. Anyways, uh, The Victim, uh, 1972, wonderful film. It also has uh, Eileen Heckert. And she was in uh, she was in that film, The Bad Seed. Really? Yeah. Good. That's a good film. Maybe we'll get that one one day. That's Dark rather movie. frightening. It is. No, it's it's disturbing. That one I found to be disturbing, not mm. so much frightening. In any case, uh, we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do the normal stuff we normally do. And... Uh, watch this train wreck of a guest of mine tonight and uh, hopefully later in the show we'll get uh, Andrew up in the chair as well so stick around uh, we'll be back after the next break but first let's start the victim This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. You know, I think we, maybe we should begin deploying puppets on our program. Why? Uh, this would make a nice mask. No, I, I'll give it back shortly. I know it's yours. Now, Sven Gulli has puppets. Really? No, I think we would gain more viewers, and maybe more of his viewers, if we did puppets as well. I've never I'll give watched it, a moment. It, so I don't know. No, you should watch. He's, he's, no, it's an, intrig it's an intriguing show. He stands in a coffin while he does it. What, you want to cut its uh, head off? Oh my! Oh my goodness! She's getting threatening. You were right, threatening. Here, take your bloody crow. Okay, so welcome back to the show. We hope you are enjoying the victim. Uh, the, do you see the shots of San Francisco? That's not green screen. They actually shot in the city of San Francisco. It is a beautiful city. Well, no, but back then it was even more beautiful hmm. because it had Elizabeth Montgomery in it. Whereas now, you know, Elizabeth Montgomery is dead. I just is she? It. No, I thought she was. You know, I watch, I watch Bewitched all the time, and I figured she was still alive. And now it turns out she's been gone some time. That's pity. It is pitiful. So, uh, anyways, uh, the story is progressing. We'll get back to that soon. But uh, is he uh, alive yet? No, he's still. You know, if he does not wake up, it's, the funeral could be costly. Especially the lawsuit. No, well, we won't talk about that. In any case, uh, what's new, Mr. Livingston? Every day is new. You know, this is the type of answer you get from a man like this. It's, it's, it's a non-answer. It's every day is new. Oh, of course. Tell me something I don't know, sir. The sun is 198 million miles from Earth. You know, that's a long way to go for a tan. Right? For yeah. a tan. For a, quite a tan. Says the man with the tan. I do have a tan. Now look. I, I have a nice tan. Uh, in any case, uh, we're going to get back to the movie in a moment. Uh, you know, I, you playing with the sharp objects disturbs me a bit because, you know, the, the wine bottle on the poor bloke's head was one thing, but is she going to cause him more injury? 
with let, this. Let us hope not. She's evil. Normally she does one injury per week. No, she's evil. All right, well, uh, I think that's it, right? Let's do some letters. Next. Next. After this next segment of the film? After the next segment of this film. All right, off we go to The Victim, 1972, and when we come back, we are going to do some mail from you because you sent it to us and we have to do it, right? We have to. We have to. All right, off we go. See you soon. Mail time, mail time. We've got mail, so we're going to read mail just for you. I don't know. It sounded like a punk rock version of the mail song. Wonderful singing. It is. It's wonderful. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to get back to the victim in a moment, but we're going to do some mail because you brought out mail, right? Deborah Wells from South St. Paul, Minnesota. Deborah Wells. She sounds like a movie star. She does. Deborah Wells in St. Paul, Minnesota. That's a lovely place. Have you been there? No, I heard it's a lovely place, though. Oh. So. oh, she wrote in very nice, neat cursive. You know, I can still read this. She can't read cursive, you know that? You know, if you and I want to send messages to one another that she could not read, we would not have to use code. All we'd have to use is cursive. Hmm. No, they never taught anybody her age to read cursive. All right, uh, she goes, uh, Dear Livingston Vincent Angela, I was so surprised to find your photograph in the mail today. I plan to frame the letter and photo to hang on my wall. Being a senior of poor health, there are few things left to get joy from. You really brighten up my day. Well, that's a, what a kind thing to say. No, no, I think, nice. no, I think they should broadcast our program in hospitals. No, think, think about it, because it would make people like Debbie happy, right? And then also it could be like a training program for all the injuries caused to Andrew by this one, right? Teach yeah? them to two, hurt two, people. Yes, right. No, something, no, 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 how to cure them after they've been hurt or mm. the types of injuries a man can sustain before he dies. Is he, we, he's not dead yet, is he? We should think this through, I think. I hope he's not dead. You know, if you kill him, you're going to be in big trouble with me. There's going to be no more, no more allowance for you for a while, I'll tell you that much. All right, let's see what else she says. Uh, love your show since there is not much on TV these days I find appealing. Always curious. I've wondered if the home is just for filming or does someone live in it? Well, yeah, we all live in it. Is, is that he likes to take off on Friday nights because he's got, you know, he's, he's got a social life. I don't have a social life. She doesn't have a social life. And Andrew, he's always down in the furnace room doing things. Handy things, right? Handy things. Fixing things. So uh, much love, Debbie. Well, thank you so much, Debbie. And uh, we hope you enjoy that photo we sent. And she must be a patron, right? That's probably how she got the photo. She must be. You now, if you want to be a patron, just go to what is our, whatever our Patreon is. It's, it's appearing under my leg. And then uh, you can get set up like Deb as well. Coming up. All right. Next, Mr. Livingston. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This is from Jack, Anne, and Sir Basil of Catbone. Sir Basil of Catbone. Let's find out. Oh, there's a photo. Oh, look, there's a kitty cat. They got a, that's Sir, Sir Basil of Rathbone. Look, all right, we're going to put a big one up. So this is Jack, Anne, and Sir Basil. And look, he's even got one of our shirts. You know, we don't sell too many shirts. I don't know why people don't buy our outerwear. Perhaps yeah, we're not marketing. Properly. All right, let's let's read what these lovely people have to say about us. Uh, to Vincent, the rocker, roller, and vanguard host of late night horror shows. To Mr. Livingston, the classy and very best man of butlering. To Tangela, the naughty nymph of nighttime TV. Naughty is right tonight. 
Watching old spooky sci-fi movies began with my grandfather when I was a boy, and I have continued this terrifying tradition with my own family for the past 25 years. Every weekend, we settled in to watch your wonderful show. Thank you for taking care of this twilight television tradition and keeping America strong. Love, Jack, Anne, and Sir Basil of Capone, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. P.S. When we grow up, we want to be late-night horror hosts. Well, you know, if that is something you want to do, do it. Jack, but I think that once you've done it for a while, you'd rather hang out with Anne and Sir Basil of Rathbone because it's probably funner than sitting around with these two ninnies. I could be wrong. I don't know. Thanks for writing. Next up, Mr. Livingston. British Columbia, Canada. Oh, this is part two of last week's. Yes. This is the other sister, Shaylin Page from Merritt, British Columbia. She's, she likes them. Caution contains art, handle with care, fragile. And there's pictures on the back of this. Hedgehog. Oh, she's a good artist. She's like a sister. It must run in the family. The Page family. family. No, and that makes sense because Page, they put their art to Page. Right? Where do you come up with these things? No, it's written on the envelope. It says the last name's Page. Well, it's not like she's paging people, right? Very well. It's, it's, oh my goodness, it's a long letter. All right, this is, this is incredible. Let's see what we've got here. Anything else? I shall give this back to you. Let's start with the letter. Dear Creature Features, it's been quite a while since I've written to you all. I hope you like the drawings I made, my own watercolors for the goat girl. All right, you got to show, look at this. This is incredible. Look, it's a goat, oh no, no, this is a goat girl. This is goat girl right here. This is thing here. Goat girl, I assume. Put a big one up. Kind of looks like Tangella, does it not? Without so the hair. Goat girl. Right, the hair's a little bit. That's all right. It's still a goat girl, right? Mm. She's got horns in the ears. All right, so that's that one. And uh, I made my own watercolors for the goat girl. Sorry if the ink is smudged. I've never done watercolor before. Well, he did a fine job. Now, with the goat octopus, or whatever cool name Tangella comes up with, I... No, Tangella loves octopi and goats. Look at this. She combined two, she's like a mad scientist. She combined the DNA of the two on an art page and created the goat octopus. An interesting mind. And it is wonderful. All right. Uh, Tangella will come up with a name for it, but I, she probably won't say it to any of us. So, uh, best of both worlds, the intelligence of a goat and octopus. They love to cuddle and can eat anything. Has it been two years since I've written to the show? I've been trying to write more letters, but I'm just too lazy. Now, you know, your skills lie in artwork, Shailen. I'll try my best to send more. Sincerely, Shailen Page. P.S. One day the pages will invade your mansion and we will welcome you and Mr. Livingston will make you tea. If you find it. He's, you know, he's not an optimist. He's, he's like a, a goat octopus. That's what he is. And uh, that he's was a, the last one. He's letter. a goat octopus. Oh, no, she included this uh, small badge. It says Merit. Hmm. So it's a Merit badge is what this is. I think that's a location. No, I know it's the location, but it's still a Merit badge, like the Boy Scouts. This man has no sense of humor. It's not in his DNA. I think it's, you know, do you suppose it's a German thing? No, that's what they did. They took the humor out. He was once a humorous baby, and the German system... Worked it out of him. That's my theory. I could be wrong. In any case, uh, if you'd like to send us a letter of your own, send it to the email address over here. Or if you want to send us a merit badge of some form with a goat octopus artwork included, send it to the postal address you see right here. We'll be back uh, after the break. But first, let's get back to the victim.
Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching the victim with Elizabeth Montgomery. I think we know what's happened to the victim by now, eh? Dead. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it's his sister, right? Yes, indeed. Well, you know, I, I think that would be a sad way to find your sister or to at least be looking for your sister and to know that she's like this is not a good way to go. Anyways, uh, we're going to get back to the movie in a moment, but... Uh, Tangela informed me during the break that she is sharpening this knife. For those of you who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet. Or perhaps they're not ready. Well, how long is it going to take them? We've been on the air for seven bloody years. Well, perhaps some of them are new to us. Well, new to the show and so they have to it's, take it time costs, to... No, it costs nothing. They push a button and subscribe. And then all you have to do is push one button and Tangela will not murder you. With, with, you know, an executioner's axe. Oh, just the subscription. I thought you meant to become a patron, perhaps. Oh, no, well, patrons are a whole different thing. We'll talk about that later. So, no, just, so uh, YouTube, I know many of you are not watching on YouTube. You watch on your television, and that's fine. But uh, the people on YouTube have not been pushing subscribe. And it's been making her so angry. No. And you don't want to have her... Be angry. No, you would not like her when she's angry. And uh, no, it's easy to do. All you have to do is push the subscribe thing. And if you, even if you are not watching this on YouTube, we would be greatly appreciative if you would go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel anyways. Like and subscribe. No, subscribe and then maybe like. I don't care about the likes. You, you can dislike all you like. I, just subscribe. Because you know why? Somebody told me in Hollywood that Hollywood will not even look at our show until we have at least 100,000 subscribers. Oh. They will not even consider us a valid program until we have 100,000 subscribers or more on YouTube. It's, it's bloody terrible. I, you know, they, they did not put this in the book on how to make it in Hollywood, which I read. Well, there are millions of people, so the potential for 100,000 is there. Exactly. And, you know, a million at least watch us every week. Right? Between all the various programs we've According done, all episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. So push that subscribe button, whether or not you're watching us on YouTube, because it'll make Tangela quite pleased, and uh, it'll make me happier, because then I could call executives, which I have. I've, I've spoken to every executive in Hollywood. You know what they tell me? You don't have 100,000 bloody subscribers. We're not going to talk to you. That's what they said. It's too much. Anyways, enough of this, this pledge night stuff. Uh, let's get back to the victim, and uh, when we come back, uh, Tanchal is going to tell us something. I don't know what. We'll see. Bye. Hi, Vincent, Tanchala, and Livingston. This is Vincent, no relation, and Sophia from Oakland, California. We watch you all the time and would like to request that you show the movie Them from 1954. That is assuming no one in the Poulter Manor is afraid of giant ants. Peace and love. You know, Elizabeth Montgomery's hair is uh, wet in a, almost this entire film. It's a good look for her. I think maybe I should start doing my hair wet. The wet look. The it's a wet look. It is mm. exactly. Welcome back. Uh, we are watching The Victim 1972. You probably know that already. If you're just joining us, it, you're pathetic. I mean, that's like as late as you could be, right? They're fairly late. No, you should go off and watch The Farm Report or something like that if you're just joining us. But if you're not joining us, uh, thank you for staying up late with us and watching this wonderful film. I like this film. Do you? No, they filmed in Carmel. Hmm. We've been to Carmel many times. In fact, her favorite hotel belongs to Doris Day. It's in Carmel, and they allow you to bring dogs. She brings Fang all the time to this hotel. 
Right there. It's, it's uh, Carmel by the sea. It's not Carmel by the volcano, mind you. It's Carmel by the sea. By the sea. Because the one by the volcano, uh, Doris Day does not have a hotel at that one. No. No, it's a, it's a for sure thing. For sure. Uh, let me see this thing that you're cleaning. You know, I've always wondered about these. Is what What is this weapon called? I think it's called a flail. Is it not? I believe it's called a mace. A mace. It's either a mace or... What do you know it's called? Are you going to tell us? No, so... Uh, a mace? Isn't the mace the one with just no chain? I oh, know, I think that's a mace, but I'm not sure. No, it could be a flail. All right, so if you know, put it in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. Put it in the comments, let us know, is this a mace or a flail? Because uh, I think it's a flail. Because these cars, you don't use these on hand, Drew, do you? Oh, my goodness. What, oh, what heavens, have, no. What have we raised here? She, no, she was supposed to become nicer, being with me. Yeah, I'm a nice person. I, I never cause injury to anyone. Well, she hasn't murdered mean? anyone so that we know well, you of. Know, I think, you know, I think it's, it's her access to finances, which allows her to buy things like this. Uh, she did not move in with this in her suitcase. I believe you supply the finances. Oh, I know. And that's maybe, maybe we need to curb that we a bit. We need to rethink the bookkeeping. No, it's not a question of bookkeeping. It's where she spends it. Pfft. Ridiculous. All right, let's get back to the film. Yes? Yes. Yes. Off we go back to the victim. And uh, when we come back, uh, we'll see if we can wake up Andrew, right? He's, I think he snoozed long enough, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll get her on it. All right. See you on the other side of the break. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. This is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories. It was a dark and stormy night in the victim. Uh, you know, I like when they do the whole thunder and lightning, home alone, no electricity thing. That's what makes a film spooky, right? It does. It does. But it's like when the power goes out here. And other than her, her banter that's going on, 
you know, she she knows how to fix things electronically, and sometimes she does not intentionally do it on purpose. No, she will not go down and change the fuse. And I have no technical skill whatsoever, so I, I cannot do it. You just unscrew it and screw the new one in. Right, but if you're not here, like on a Friday night, what was that? Again? And she won't she won't do it, and he's gone. And even if it happened tonight, he's he's out to lunch. Why don't you see if you could gently wake him up? Because you know, she's not very chatty tonight for some reason. No, typically she 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 won't shut up, right? She's not quiet. So uh, on this movie, did you know that Elizabeth Montgomery did um, the other one? Uh, she was uh, Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden. We showed that one. What in God's name? Oh my goodness. That's her idea of gentle. Well, he's out of the window. Oh my God, is that poor man? All right, well, you know, I, I think we need to give him a bonus this month for all he's gone through. You mean a bribe? No, a bonus. A bonus. They don't call them bribes in, in the United States of America. They call them bonuses. Ah. Bonus. All right, so what else is new with you, Mr. Livingston? Any new soup pans? No, but, but the... Uh New mandolin works very well. Oh. No. Yeah. He's discovered this, this store in Corte Madera called Sur la Table. Sur la Table. And they have all the fancy French equipment for cooking. And he doesn't even cook. He's not the assigned cook. We've got Maurice cooking, but he likes to like, he uses it for his own breakfast. What did you make for breakfast yesterday? Let's see. I made a salmon eggs benedict. All right. That's a normal thing. Typically, he's he's creating things out of snails and things. Snails. I no, I, you know I like escargot, but I, you know not for breakfast. It's just not a breakfast food to me. It's not a breakfast food to me either. Lunch, mm -hmm. perhaps. No, I've seen him put escargot in eggs. What do you call it? Snail entrails. Snail entrails. It'd be a good name. Ugh. Yeah. All right. I think we should get back to this film. How about you? I think so as well. All right, off we go to the victim. Is this the last one? Is this the last segment? Last Tom? segment. Last segment. And uh, do not leave after the credits because uh, we're going to have uh, Tangela back and uh, maybe Andrew. Who knows? We'll see. All right, see you on the other side of the credits. You know that dark and stormy night is a redundancy. Of course it is. And that brings the station wagon up on the stump that squishes the man who maybe killed his wife. You know, I'm, I'm a bit confused. It's not entirely clear that that man was the one who killed his wife, her sister. Well, if you were paying attention, he had the clippers, remember? For cutting the, the phone lines and he put them in the oh, drawer. Oh, all right. So that's, that's the only true evidence they give us that he was the one. The only thing I saw that made sense. Mm, all right. All right. Well, he did chase after her, I suppose. So maybe, mm -hmm. who knows? All right, anyways, good film. Uh, we might show it again in two years, maybe, maybe not. Who two knows? and a half. We've got more Elizabeth Montgomery films coming, I'm told. Do we? Yes. There's apparently another one. I, I can't recall what it is, but it's apparently on the way. So uh, this one was good, though. Hopefully the next one will be as good as this one. Mm. Andrew, how are you, sir? Hmm? Huh? How do you feel? With my fingers. No, but how, how do you feel? How is your health? He's not quite all here yet. No, he's coming back. I, I, think, I think we need to make him some coffee or some type of tea. caffeine drink. No, he needs no, he, tea. He, he, he likes that. A he good herbal that. tea. So, so uh, 
how many fingers am I holding in front of you? Five. Right. He'll be he'll be all right soon. No, he'll he'll be okay. He's, you know, he's gone through this before. He's all right. So, uh, what did you think of the movie? What little you saw of it, Andrew? You do realize film. that's your name? Tonight's oh. film. Lovely. See, he liked it. I liked it. I think our viewers liked it. So it was a good night, right? Good night, indeed. It was a very good night. So uh, what do we got going on next? Anything exciting? Another movie next week. Another movie next week. It's going to be, uh, what's, the, what's the movie next week? It's, uh, who's in the next one? Actors. Like, actors, of course it's actors. No, it's going to be, That's but it's going to be some, some good actors. But, you know, guest-wise, we've got uh, an interesting guest coming. She's got some creepy babies. This one's going to love the creepy babies, right? Indeed. Right. All right. Well, that's it for uh, tonight, right? Nothing else? Uh, that's it for this evening. All right. Well, I want to thank you all for watching our program tonight. Sorry we did not have a guest, but we will have one next week. And uh, Andrew works out pretty well sometimes, right? When he's not been slammed over the head with a wine bottle. But uh, we'll, we'll try to avoid doing that next week. So uh, you have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Don't forget that uh, I love you, Tangela love you, and uh, Livingston merely tolerates you, but that's a good thing in his world. So we'll see you next week, and have a great night. So, uh, Andrew, you know, um, Tangela, the girl over here in the window, uh, you don't have any pending issues with her anymore, do you? She seems like a lovely girl. <laughs> <laughs>